Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, what do you say we go back to the West Coast and just destroy our palates? If that sounds like a plan, then you are in luck. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the one, the only Green Flash palate record, coming in at 9.5% alcohol by volume, and guess what? It's a double IPA. I know, I was surprised too. I've previously reviewed this beer. I really like it. This is the new batch of it. It just came out. This bottle is six days old, and I gotta give a huge thanks to Jeff for hooking me up with this one. You know, this beer is just crazy how it's brewed. They mash with hopped wort, which, I mean, if you're a home brewer, you know that just sounds insane. Rather than using water, no, 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 no. We're going to use hop wort to mash a beer. So with that said, let me get into a glass that you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the newest release of Palette Wrecker. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Palette Wrecker. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I mean, just huge dankness, lots of onion and garlic. There's probably some Summit in here, maybe some Simcoe. Um, definitely getting some grapefruit, some pine needle. Maybe a little bit of a tropical sweetness to it, a nice kind of caramel toffee, actually, believe it, that comes out from the malt. But yeah, this thing is a dank, garlicky smelling beer. Just crazy stuff. All right, guys, so the taste on the palate wrecker. Cheers. Wow, yeah. Wow, right at the front of the tongue. Oh my gosh, there's a huge, huge slap of bitterness Followed immediately by that dankness, that garlicky kind of hoppiness, middle of the mouth. Again, I, I'm surprised, but there's kind of a caramely, kind of malty backbone to this one. And I mean, you, I don't know how it gets through those hops, but it definitely does. Um, more, the middle of the mouth is actually more balanced in that initial taste. I'm getting more of a grapefruit, kind of West Coast pininess, balanced off of that sweet kind of maltiness. Um, Definitely getting that dankness in there, that astringency, that big kind of, you know, I hate to say a cat pee uh, type of flavor in there, which in my book is a good thing. Um, a little bit of oniony, kind of garlicky quality to it. A little bit of spiciness in there as well. Um, super dry finish. I mean, to the point of almost taking your breath away. Aftertaste, more of that dankness, more of that garlicky kind of hot flavor. A little bit of maybe um, a kind of a tropical spice twist on the back end of this one, a nice kind of malt sweet backbone. But is there balance in this one? Absolutely not. Is this thing going to destroy your palate? Hell yes, in the best possible way it could. It's just a groundbreaking beer and one that really does need to be experienced. All right, guys, the final verdict on the Green Flash Palette Record 9.5% alcohol available now, and do get this fresh, please. Guys, I have got to give this one an A. Just looking at this beer from a technical standpoint, it deserves an A. They're basically brewing two beers just to produce one beer, which is a fantastic thing. I mean, it's got to be a hugely expensive beer to produce with all the hops they're using. And then you get into the actual beer itself. It's one of the most bitter beers I've ever had in my entire life, and that's a good thing. It's the bitter, it's the bitter in the best way. You know, it's dank, it's garlicky, it's a little tropical, it's a little dry, and there's actually a malt backbone to help kind of balance that out. Is this a balanced beer? Absolutely not, but it's just one of those beers that you really do need to experience just because it is so freaking aggressive and just so over the top and they make no means about it. I mean, they call it a palate record. Don't make this your first beer of the night, you know, don't be a dummy. But with that said, getting an A for me and it's an absolute must try to be honest with you. So with that said, folks, remember life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.